Hello, Melody here from Business Tech Ninjas, here to talk to you about the directory from CRM plugin launch that we're doing as a beta launch right now. In this three minute video, we will walk through the option for a standalone directory site, as well as the plugin install option on a current site, current WordPress site that is already existing. We're gonna go through the front end features of this and also the back end admin features that are gonna make your tech support people love you. All right, let's start off with a site. This is a standalone site. The difference between a standalone site and an install site is a standalone site. The main purpose of the site is the directory itself. When we're doing an install on another site, the directory is simply a feature of an already existing site. We have both options for you that we will either create a brand spank, a new a WordPress site that is specific to your directory, or we can potentially install the plugin on an already existing site for you as long as there's no compatibility issues. So this first site we're looking at here is a standalone site. This is a certified tax coach site. The second one, which we're probably not gonna get as in depth with, this is a site where they have, they have the marketing purposes for this main site. And one of the features on this site is to have a search for a yoga medicine teacher option where someone can put their postal code on 90210 postal code in here and search for a teacher that is in their neighborhood potentially. And I can go down here and see all the different teachers that are in the 90210 options uh, radius. So we're gonna focus in on this directory. This one has a couple more features that the other one doesn't have at this point in time. There are three different search parameters that we can use at this point. One is by name. You can search by location, be it city, state, country, region, or postal or, postal or zip code, depending on which country you live in. Uh, you can also make it so that only a specific country is searchable. And then we have an option to search based on certifications and designations. This is completely customized based on your business. It is really around, do they have X tag? You can have up to three different options in there. They're usually based on tag category. The most common use case for this is what have they been certified in through your company for this particular one. They offer a CTC, CTP, and CTS certification and someone can search based on that. And then the secondary one is what type of profession are they in with attorney or certified um, public accountant, that type of idea. Again, I like to search by 90210, 90. 210, but I'm gonna wait just one moment. The secondary feature on this particular site is that we have this featured member option. The featured member option will show up on their profile when they search, as well as you can display only featured members on a page. And then we on this particular site and on the standalone sites will typically display those featured members on this front end. We don't recommend having more than six. Four is kind of ideal, but we wouldn't recommend having more than six featured members because it stops, it starts to lose its relevance at that point in time. Uh, many of our clients are charging for this featured member option, so it is an additional source of revenue for you. So I'm gonna search 90210 in this. Oh, it didn't like that I didn't select the, the, uh, the US one. So now I can see that everyone in this particular area down here, if I want to see more about a particular listing, then I can click on their name and then I can see more about them. Let's click on someone that maybe has a little bit more information. It displays their name. This particular one has a business name and then a location. We do not display the specific location of them because of privacy reasons. You can customize this if you'd like. This is all just plain text inserted in the back end. Again, displays their, their city, uh, contact information as far as email, their website, and also phone number. Uh, you can also display social media links on this as well. This particular contact doesn't have any social media links. And then the featured members display at the bottom. Uh, the search functionality is displayed based on short code. So you can put this, if you're doing it on to an addition to an already existing site, you can display this search functionality anywhere in your site just by inserting that short code. Uh, so that is the front end version. This video has gotten very, very long. I do want to take a moment and just take you into the back end though, for those of you that are a little bit nerdier or like to know how is this logistically going to work for my admin and support team. So I'm going to take you into the back end of the site. 
So in the back end of the site, you're going to see directory over here. Uh, you're going to click on this one is specific to tactical coaches. Yours will just say Sierra directory from CRM. Uh, and you can see all of your listings in here and how many total listings there are. Uh, these people don't, not all of them have images. We've just recently re re released a new feature that will show you broken listings. One of the things that we found is that the information that you're getting sometimes from your CRM is not always accurate. Uh, the most prominent one is the address issue, and that's where their address doesn't have enough information for, to be displayed correctly on the site. So I can go edit here and I can see that this particular person doesn't actually have a country listed out. So I would type in United States in order for her to display correctly. And you can see that on the back end, you do have the option to put a Facebook URL, Twitter name, and also LinkedIn name. They will see a very similar form to this when they click from an email in order to update their listing. If they email you in and say, hey, can you update my listing? You'd simply go to this search, find their listing, and then go in and update over here. The secondary feature that we do have is that we have a contact record email and then a public facing email. They can't change this contact record email because that's what's connected to Infusionsoft. The public facing email is the email they want to be displayed on the directory. What we found is that people often have a different email that they'd like to be displayed publicly for sales purposes than the email that we want to necessarily use when interacting with your business. Uh, from the user standpoint, a usability standpoint of when you're adding people to your directory. Uh, we give you a campaign which has a start and a stop tag on it. Anyone that you'd like to have added to the directory, you just need to add that start tag, make sure they have the necessary tags to be displayed on the directory. They will receive an email which says, hey, you need to update your listing. You have the option to either automatically approve them or potentially um, approve them uh, later on. Right now, we are still working on that functionality for the approvals as of today, which is February 19th. It is an automatic approval, but we, are, we will be releasing the functionality where you can say, hey, they can update, but I want to say yes to that listing before it actually gets displayed on the front end. Once they've updated their listing, they go into a needs to update listing in six months or 12 months in order to keep your directory active. Uh, if they are ever removed from the directory, you simply remove the display tag at this point in time. We are working on an additional feature to make it so that if they get a payment failure or cancel tag or some other tag, that they will also not be displayed potentially. Hopefully that covers all your questions and more, probably a little bit more information than you really needed, but uh, I think this is a really, really powerful tool. I'm very much excited to get our beta users into this and testing. We have many clients that are already on it and very, very happy with it. And I'm excited for you to get your directory up and potentially push people in order to complete more of your certifications or engage with your business. This is a great marketing tool. Hey, complete this course, you're displayed in this directory. Uh, to get to motivate people in order to complete your courses or uh, or engage with your company. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at hello at businesstechninjas.com.